Okay, so in this tutorial we will learn how to make a dynamic ponytail. So we have this this rig. Uh, right now we have a, a little animation on the hips, so we can see the the movement. Okay, so right now right now it's not moving with the body. We need it to move with the body. We have this chain of, of joints. Here we have the, the joints that will drive her. Okay, so first we need to create a, a curve. Select all the joints. Okay, so we have the curve here. There's here we have the curve. Uh, we, we need to make that curve dynamic. So we go to dynamics, then we go to her and make select curves dynamic. Okay, so right now we will see that the, that the curve is attached to both sides. Okay, let me lock the animation at the hips. So we want to see it. Select. Okay, so the, the curve is attached on both sides right now. So we have to just attach it to the base. We go to follicles. This is the follicle we just created. And we'll modify this attribute that says both ends. We need to put it on base. So right now it will only move from the base. Okay, so we have um, two curves right now, the, the original curve and the second curve that is the one that is moving. So we need to create a, an IK, IK handle, spline handle, handle to, uh, to the curve, so it will move the joints too. Animation, uh, skeleton, we open the box, and on the root and curve we will leave all of these off. Select the base, the tip, and then the, the curve, the, the one that moves. So we control, control, and uh, left click. So the joints are moving with the curve right now. Uh, next, so we unmute the, the, the animation. We need select it, and we will see that the that the joints are not moving with the animation. We need to parent then the the follicles. This one, the hair system, two follicles to the to the head, the joint or the control or or uh, wherever you need to it to move. So we parent. Right now it's inside the head joint. Here's the follicles inside the head joint. So if we play the animation right now, it's going to move with the with the with the hip. Okay, so right now is is the um, is the standard preset for for the curve. We're going to add a little a little of uh, stiffness. The stiffness is located on the hair system in this case too and we are going to modify it to 0.5 so it's going to to look a little more stiff okay it's looking already dynamic but we have a problem here because it's colliding inside of the it's going through the body mesh so we need to make it collide and bounce against it. So we select the curve 12, the one that is dynamic. We go to dynamics here and we select then the body or, or the mesh that we need it to collide. And then we go to her make collide. Okay. We play it and you can see it bounced against uh, the body. 
it won't go inside. Okay, so we have we have a the setup already done. Okay, we have a little more. Okay. It looks slow because it's on. Well, it's not real time. It's on playable frame, free, because of my computer power. Okay, so that's it.